Okay guys, the heads have to come off the big dog because there's a piece of metal in the rear cylinder. I'll put a picture of it on. I took, I, I, I went in there with the endoscope. I thought I was recording on video. You know, I'm, I'm still new to this thing here. I still can't. I have no idea what, why that shut off. Anyway, we'll try this again. Nothing works right now for me. There's a piece of metal inside the rear cylinder of the big dog, so the heads have to come off. It looks like the threads from the bottom from a bottom of a spark plug. That's what they look like. I'm thinking that one spark plug that had the insulator that was loose. Maybe that's what the is inside of a spark plug. I have to take a look in there. You know, it's it's real small, but it's got to come out, or it'll it'll damage my engine. And um, my endoscope has an SD card. I have an SD card in there. I did everything I was supposed to. I formatted the SD card. I I I record videos with the endoscope but it will not transfer over to my computer or tablet. They are just read corrupted. So that's why any any videos with the endoscope you're going to just you're going to see the, the endoscope itself. The the picture come on over the endoscope screen. I can't do it no other way. You know, maybe there's a way I have to monkey around with it a little bit. So I have a picture of the piece of metal that's in there. That's what it looks like. It looks like the threads that are on the inside of a spark plug that holds the insulator in. So, you know, I can't leave that inside the, the cylinder. It's got to come out. So I have to take the rear head off. I'm also take them both off, clean them both up. And this has to happen at any cost. Okay. If I got to cut the heads off and get new ones, that's what's going to have to happen. If I have to drill out the, if I can't get those little screws off out, if I have to drill them out and buy new heads, that's what's got to happen. Or else I'm going to damage the engine and I'm going to pull the engine out and replace God knows what. So, so far the endoscope saved me an engine. It so far it saved that engine. And that's why I bought it. So all right. You're gonna see a picture of, of that thing in there. It looks it looks huge, but it's not. It's probably I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it's from. It's from the inside of one of those champion spark plugs. That everybody says, Oh, they're the best thing to use. Well, you're all gonna see why I'm never buying no champion spark plug. Okay guys, this is the best I can do. So I have I have a metal object inside the cylinder. Here let's see if I can set this down so I'm not gonna shake too much. Alright. That's not it. Okay, now, this is a close-up of it. It looks like it has threads. I'm thinking this is the inside of, a, of that spark plug, of that um, champion spark plug that malfunctioned on me. <clears throat> I have a video. See, there it is right there inside the piston, inside the cylinder. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this one here first. You know, we'll do video number one. Apparently, it's been crushed.
Okay, that's one video. Just shows the same thing again, and I think that's another view of it. That's it right there. So it's been crushed. Word of advice, guys. I learned this a long time ago, and I've never learned my lesson, and I need to follow my own advice. Best advice I can give you, whether you own a car, a boat, a plane, a UFO, uh, an ocean liner, or a motorcycle, if it ain't broke, don't mess with it. I should have never... See, I can't blame it on the cam, though. I was going to say I should have never changed the cam, but... This may be a faulty spark plug. That may be the inside of that spark plug, the insulator that was moving up and down. That might be the inside of that champion spark plug. So this may not have nothing to do with the cam. I mean, I mean the the the, um, the 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 valve cap. I think what I did with the with the with the push rod is I don't think I tightened that lock nut down on the push rod. That's what I think I did. I don't think I, because you know, after you adjust your push rod, there's a lock nut. You spin it down, you lock it in place. I don't think I did that. Because when I took that, with that push rod that was real loose, the lock nut was all the way up. So that was my fault. That was my stupidity. So in any event, the head, ha the the the, uh, the rear head has to come off, and I'm also taking both off, and they got to come off. I mean that that rear one has to come off, at any cost, has to come off. So I have a manual impact driver. <clears throat> I need to also buy. A All right, guys, I'm gonna my my. Uh, my, my cam ran out of power, so I'm laying in bed here, and uh, yeah, those heads got to come off, though. So I'll start, um, probably Thursday night, I'm going to start on that rear one, if I find my uh, hex, my, the, um, the quarter-inch drive Allen head sockets, because I need new ones. And what I want to what I want to do is, I want to get an SAE set. And a metric set. And in case if I start stripping them, I can put the metric in. And I'm going to use the uh, imp manual impact driver along with that. Maybe we'll put a little bit of heat on them first with the torch. That might help. So, but that uh, that they, they have to come off now. Especially, the, I mean, the back one's a problem. So. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else that piece of metal could be from. That has to be from the inside of the spark plug. 